For welding a 20-inch pipeline using TIG welding, ensure all necessary materials and tools are available, including proper personal protective equipment like gloves, helmets, and jackets. Inspect the pipeline for defects such as cracks or corrosion before welding. Clean the pipe's surface thoroughly to remove oil, dirt, rust, and any other contaminants using wire brushes or grinders. Properly align the pipe ends to ensure a clean and tight fit up. Use clamps and supports to secure the pipe during welding. Follow the welding procedure specification to ensure the welding process is conducted according to the specified parameters like amperage, voltage, and filler material. Preheat the pipeline if necessary to avoid cracking due to temperature differences, especially for thicker materials. Use the TIG process with appropriate filler rods and a stable arc to ensure strong, clean welds. Keep the tungsten electrode in a clean and sharp condition. Start with a root pass, followed by intermediate passes, and finish with a cap pass. Ensure proper heat input and travel speed during each pass to prevent overheating or undercutting. Always maintain the correct gas shielding to prevent oxidation and contamination. Ensure that each weld pass is free from defects like porosity, cracks, or undercutting. Inspect the welds regularly during the process to ensure high-quality results. Perform visual and non-destructive testing after welding to check for any potential defects. Allow the pipeline to cool naturally or use post-weld heat treatment if necessary to relieve stress. Ensure proper back purge if required, especially for pipelines carrying sensitive materials. Maintain a clean work environment to avoid contamination of the weld zone. Store all materials and equipment properly to ensure they remain in good condition. Follow all safety protocols during the welding process to protect yourself and others on site. Always double-check the weld settings and adjust if necessary for optimal results. Keep communication clear with all team members to ensure a safe and efficient workflow. Maintain proper ventilation at the work site to prevent inhalation of harmful fumes. Ensure a safe distance from flammable materials when welding. Use fire-resistant blankets or shields to protect the surrounding area. Check and calibrate all equipment regularly to ensure it operates efficiently. Keep backup tools and parts readily available in case of equipment failure. Regularly check the